In this video, I want to be covering importing legacy GPK alignments into the new ORD software. Created a new 2D ORD seed. First thing we need to do is make sure that we get our coordinate system set correctly. So for this project, it's going to be zone 4. We'll come in here. Set the RCS up here now so it's set to zone 4. Close out of that. We're just going to come back to our geometry tab and we're going to be using the import export here. If I click the little arrow to the right of it, we'll be using import geometry. Got my GPK here that I want to be importing. If you want to filter it down more specific, you can use the extension here to sort it down to just the GPKs. So we'll just go ahead and select that and select open. So it's going to load that GPK into this import geometry. And what we're going to be looking for is alignments. And I'm going to be bringing in the main line today. So I'm going to come down here and select the main line 169. So you want to make sure that you get the correct profiles for this. So for this one, I'm going to be bringing in the existing. So we'll turn off all these. If we want to bring in the proposed, it would be the underbar P here. So we're going to bring in the existing one here. So we're just going to bring it in it's under the baseline here. Uncheck the assist feature definitions from table. Check your assign feature definitions. Make sure you assign a linear feature. And then make sure that you have create civil rules so that it generates the rules that the new ORD system is using. So then we're going to go ahead and click import. It's going to go through a little process here. And now you can see we have a alignment. If we, when we do it, it creates a 3D model and references in immediately since it has 3D element to it. So it has elevation. So then we can select it and you can see it's actually generated all of the already geometry for it. it. Has the different symbologies for curves, spiral curves versus straight lines. Uh, so we want to see the profile here. We can go ahead and open here and now you can see we have a profile and a, we have a, both a horizontal profile and a vertical profile in ORD that you can start using. Go ahead and use, for example, the uh, element annotation. So you can actually annotate that element now using the open roads tools. It's going to take a few seconds here. A little bit longer of a corridor, as you can see here. Now that it's done, you can zoom in here and you can see now it's got stations annotated, all the POIs and PTs, and it got has all the curve and spiral curve labels in there. So that's how we go about importing geometry. That's the import geometry. Import geometry here. It's under a geometry tab in the open roads modeling workflow. Select your GPK. It's going to load that alignment into the import geometry tool. Then you're going to have to come down here and make sure that you're selecting the correct profile that you want to go with that alignment for what you're bringing in. So if you're bringing in 115th Street here, you'd have the 100, there's your existing, and here's your proposed profile. So that is how you go about importing geometry from a GPK into the new ORD software.